equestrian friends, it's me Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And if you saw my video last week, I made a video using dollar store decorations, I guess you could call them, in order to make some really cute little homemade stall signs for my friend Linda. And I already have enough stall signs for my horses, so I figured it would be something fun to make something for someone else. And she was really surprised and that was really neat. However, when I bought that decoration from the dollar store, I actually bought two of them. So I decided I was going to make some nameplates for myself. Yeah, I made my own nameplates. And I put them on my tack trunk and then also my tag along grooming tote. So I wanted to share with you how I did this and I'm just gonna walk you through step by step on how you can make your own nameplates for whatever. So let's make some nameplates. So the first thing you'll need are these signs and I found these at the dollar store and I got a couple of them. And I disconnected the ribbon from the back. The staples came out pretty easily. And now I have my three signs that are all separate. And then I used my radial arm saw to cut the signs down to the size that I wanted them to be. One, I just took off the little angle that looks like, that looks like an arrow. And the other one I needed to make shorter because my grooming tote is a little bit smaller of where I wanted to put the name plaque. Then I just took my orbital sander and sanded off some of the glitter that was on the front of the signs. And once my signs were sanded, I brought them back in the house to paint them. So I found this navy blue gloss paint at Walmart. It was 97 cents. And I really liked the color and I liked that it had a glossy finish. So this was the paint that I used for my signs. But if you don't have your own navy blue paint, but you do have other paints, you can make your own. And that's what I did with this. And it's really close to the navy blue that I bought. To make navy blue paint, you'll need some purple paint, blue paint, and black paint. And you just mix them up until you get the color that you're looking for. So just in case you don't have any navy blue paint. And then I just painted the signs using the acrylic paint. And of course, this is the speeded up version. And I did end up doing two coats of paint on each of the signs, just to make sure that it was nice and had a nice solid background. And while my signs were drying, I took my Cricut machine and I cut out some letters of my name that I'm going to put on these little plaques. And if you have a Cricut machine, I used the font Everyday Fonts and it was F5 was the font that I used. I don't know what the name of it is. I just remember it was F5 on like the keyboard panel. Then I carefully punched out the letters and then figured out how I was going to put them on my plaques.
and I used Mod Podge to attach the letters. That's like one of my favorite adhesives, especially when I'm working with letters. And I made sure to really coat the backs of the letters and then push them down with more of the Mod Podge. And after the Mod Podge had all dried and the letters were dried onto the sign, I could have left them like that, but I decided I wanted to have a burgundy border. And I had this painter's tape and it's made for delicate surfaces. I kind of liked that the tape was purple. That was pretty awesome, but it worked pretty well for preventing any bleed through. My favorite tape to use when I'm doing any type of painting between two different colors and I don't want any bleed through is frog tape, but I didn't have any when I was making this video, so I just used the tape that I had. But the frog tape works really well to prevent the colors from bleeding through. And I used a burgundy paint that again, I got at Walmart. And I just applied the paint to the edge of the signs. And this is basically gonna be a burgundy border around the navy blue background with the white lettering. made sure to paint the edges just in case they show because I don't want to have navy blue edges and have a burgundy stripe going around it. I just did a little bit of touch up with the burgundy paint just to make sure I was happy with my paint job. And once the burgundy paint was dry, it was time to remove the tape. is my name sign just about done just one more step and that is to put a coat of triple thick glaze over the top of it the triple thick glaze works really well if you want to have a nice glossy glaze like finish to whatever your project is and it also works great if you're making stall signs or something that needs to withstand being outside this triple thick glaze is what i have on my stall signs that hang up on my horse's pens and it's held up really well even through all of the winter snow ice blizzards whatever it's worked really great And once the glaze had dried, all I had to do was find some way to attach my nameplates to my tack trunk and also my grooming tote. And I used Gorilla Glue glue sticks because it's really strong and it works really well. Here are my personalized grooming tote as well as my tack trunk.
So I hope you found that useful. It was really fun for me to do and I had them and I was like, I need to do something with this. So I figured why not make some nameplates for myself and personalize my tack trunks so that one day when I do get to go to a horse show, it's got my name on them. It was a really easy project, cost me less than a dollar to make two nameplates for my tack trunks and it was really fun and I was able to do this in an afternoon. So what are you waiting for? Why not go to the dollar store, get some of those little signs and make your own nameplates and possibly stall signs too. And if you've watched this far of the video, thank you so much for watching. And you should subscribe to my channel. You can watch all of my videos on different product reviews and a lot of other fun and easy DIY projects for you to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.